There's a, there's a rivalry here every year, though. I don't know if, you, if you've been here before, if you know what I'm talking about. We need to hear from each of the boroughs and who was there and find out who can make the most noise. So let's start on Staten Island. Staten Island here today. That was okay. How about the Bronx? Staten Island saying, ouch. How about Queens? Is there a Brooklynite in the house? It's getting kind of tight. Uh, would there be anyone from Manhattan here? Anybody watch CBS 2 this morning? You gotta do better than that. You gotta do better than that. I don't know who won, but I think we all did. How about that? It's kind of a weak way to get out of it, but we all did win. Kickoff today, what a thrill. It's principal for a daytime. I'm pleased to count myself as one of you. Uh, my colleague Katie McGee and I are very proud partners and we're celebrating our partnership with Principal Ron Smolkin at Independence High School in Manhattan. Assistant Principal Patricia Drew is here. Uh, she's right here on the front table. Great to have you here with us. We have a lot of work to do. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. We know the numbers, we know the statistics. 21st in math in this country. Uh, 21st in science, 25th in math. We know race to the top. We're familiar with the movie Waiting for Superman. Education's a hot topic right now. Everybody's talking about it everywhere you look and turn. You are indeed asking the tough questions, doing the hard work needed today. And we want to hear from you. Want to share some ideas here today on how to, how to transform our schools and how you're doing it. Because what you're doing is being felt in communities across the city. Back in June, we asked on a survey, our partners, we asked them, and 95% of the partners and principals in principal programs say their partnerships impacted their schools. 95%, that's an A at the schools I went to. So that's pretty good, but there's still 5% room for, for doing even better. And just last night, Pencil was recognized by New York Report, that's a leading professional association of small businesses, as a finalist in their first ever Nonprofit of the Year Award category for its work to bring together business and education leaders to improve our schools. 